City leaders along with DOTD are working to fix some of the lights that are out along the interstate. Eleanor Tabone has those details. As of Wednesday, the city's Department of Public Works, with help from DOTD, are working to replace lights on I-10 between Gravia Street and Orleans Avenue. The municipality where these roadway lights are located falls under the jurisdiction of, of either the city. WWL Louisiana has reported on the issues of the lack of interstate lighting in the past. A year ago, DPW told us the city was trying to get 98% of the city's lights operational. Yet a year later, hundreds of interstate lights are still out. And the big push is to get these lights all fixed and operational in time for the Super Bowl in February of next year. Scott Boyle with DOTD says the city is responsible for fixing the lights. He says the state is assisting with road closures. Part of the eastbound left lane on I-10 will be closed while the contractor fixes lights in this section of roadway. They're working only five hours a day. We're having them work in between the peak periods of nine and two. Scott says interstate lighting is vital to keep drivers safe and says the repairs are pretty straightforward. Eleanor Tabone. WWL, Louisiana. We reached out to the city's Department of Public Works and they had to say, quote, today's repair successfully restored approximately 80 lights into service. Additional work is needed for three lights located at the base of the on-ramp due to wire theft. We are committed to working hard, collaborating with partners, and taking proactive measures to expedite the repair process.